everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage R, baby. <laughs> Tommy, who are you for Halloween? I'm fucking the pirate. That's who You're I am. You're the pirate? You Paul Virtual? You're damn right, but I'm going to go over more than Paul Virtual. <laughs> You're going to go over more than Paul Virtual? That's right. I'm going to be Long John Silver. <laughs> and I am Carlito. And you want to be cool. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this video for you guys. Special Halloween edition for you guys, right here on Wrestling Rampage. We have the top five worst Halloween Havoc matches. Yes. Uh, Halloween Havoc was a mainstay in WCW pay-per-view history, started in 1989 uh, and uh, ended in 2000. 2000. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get started for you guys. This is a, a special Halloween edition for you guys right here on Halloween. And we hope everybody is having a happy Halloween. Yeah, I wish everyone a happy Halloween. That's right. Number five was from WCW Halloween Havoc 1997 when Jacqueline takes on the WCW television champion at the time, the Disco Inferno. This match was the shits. Yes, it was. It was fucking terrible. And I like Jacqueline, don't get me wrong, but uh, Disco Inferno against Jacqueline, and he was the WCW television champion. Mm -hmm. That ruined his career. Well, his career was already ruined a long time well, ago. Yeah, yeah, uh, Disco really sucks. Uh, you've been a victim of WR visits, so... Uh, uh, Jacqueline Disco, the match was terrible. It was boring. And, pretty, uh, pretty much what happened was Disco kept getting in and out. Yeah, of the all Disco and, did yeah. was run away for fucking the whole duration of this fucking match. Until pretty much the end. Yes, till pretty much the end. Uh, and that was about it. Uh, Jacqueline ends up doing a cross body off the top rope. Uh, Disco reverses it and covers her. And then, One. To and kick then, out. Yeah, then Jacqueline kicks out. Then he complains to the referee. And uh, Jacqueline does the schoolboy to Disco. And one, two, three. Beats Disco Inferno. That's right. Jacqueline beats the Disco Inferno. In a shitty fucking match. That's why it's the worst in number five. And we're going to go ahead and go to number four. Which is from WCW Halloween Havoc 1995. When the Macho Man Randy Savage takes on... The Zodiac. Well, anything with Brutus Beefcake <laughs> sucks. Yes. Anything with Ed Leslie fucking sucks dick. Yes. Anything. It could be fucking Brutus the Barber Beefcake. It could be the fucking Zodiac. Booty Man. It could be the Booty Man. It could be the fucking Butcher who had a main event on Starcade 94, which was the shits. Here soon we might do a Starcade, <laughs> and he's going to be on the list again. Uh... And, and this man Disciple, too. And the fucking Disciple who didn't do shit on... Yeah. Besides WCW Saturday Night. This match was the shits. It's Randy Savage. A great fucking talent, but he becomes victim of one of the worst Halloween Havoc matches. Uh, with so, the fucking Zodiac. Uh, 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 pretty much a minute and a half squash match. Yes. Uh, Zodiac ends up missing the splash. And Macho Man Randy Savage does the flying elbow off the top rope. One, two, three. And beats the fucking weak-ass Zodiac. Not only that, but later in the show, Macho Man, Randy ha Macho Man Randy Savage has another match against Lex Luger. Yeah, why has he got to be on two matches? Yeah, 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 it's two matches. Now, now don't get me wrong, the Zodiac didn't take that long. But, but still, uh, he had two matches. Still had two matches. And uh, he beats Lex Luger in that show as well. So, two wins for the Macho Man Randy Savage. Yes. Going in at number three from WC, also from WCW Halloween Havoc 1995, is the first ever sumo monster truck match. The first ever monster truck match. Fucking terrible. If you want to fucking watch monster trucks, watch Monster Jam. <laughs> Don't watch wrestling. Yes. Monster trucks have nothing to do with wrestling. And fucking Hogan and fucking John did this fucking monster truck garbage fucking come lying into each other. Like fucking idiots. True. And then fucking they get pissed off, get out of the goddamn fucking weak ass monster trucks. Of course, Hogan's got the American made one. And the giant gets some fucking Dungeon of Doom garbage truck. Uh, and fucking, uh, then they get out of the goddamn car and have a big smaz. 
and fucking uh, the giant fucking falls over a fucking building, goes off the fucking building, and Hogan fucking tries to save him. What happened? And then he runs away. <laughs> then he runs away like goddamn. Uh, oh, our game, our segment's over. Well, time to go back to my trailer. And uh, don't forget at, at the end of the show. Uh, well, uh, of course, the giant shows up for his oh, match. Of course. Uh, the Giant shows up for his and match. I didn't expect when he fell off a building and he shows up for his match. That's how stupid WCW booking was. He fell off the building, but he's going to be here for his match. And uh, uh, pretty much, and here comes uh, the Yeti. Yeah, here comes the fucking Yeti and the Giant fucking make a fucking orgy on fucking Hogan. <laughs> yeah, doing the... Make a fucking gangbang on Hogan. Uh, fucking the shits. It was the shits. But uh, we got some more shittier things than that, too, because coming at a number two from WCW Halloween Havoc 1991, we have the first ever Chamber of Horrors match. When the team of El Legante, Sting, Rick, and Scott Steiner takes on Abdullah the Butcher, the Diamond Stud, Vader, and Cactus Jack. This match was terrible. Mm -hmm. It was the fucking shits. It, it, See, WCW in this era sucks. Okay? That's why they got all these fucking shitty matches. Fucking the Chamber of Horrors was the worst fucking idea I've ever seen in my life. Fucking Cage, and then here comes a goddamn, remember one guy was a mass man out of a goddamn coffin. What the fuck's he doing there for? And you know, fucking, here comes goddamn fucking, they're going to lower the goddamn electric chair here. At the fucking, uh, with the fucking well, Cage well, 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 And then here's another stupid it, idea. It, it was called the chair of torture torture but here's another stupid thing the lever pulled down <laughs> and then Cax Jack had to pull it back up that's how stupid WCW was and then fucking Rick Steiner belly to bellies Abdullah the Butcher into the chair Cax Jack don't know that Abdullah the Butcher's in the chair fucking he sets the goddamn he pulls the fucking lever and fucking Abdullah the Butcher goes in convulsions and do it do it do it <laughs> losing your hat, huh? Yeah, I got damn fucking losing the hat because of this goddamn garbage. You know, it, it was fucking close to fucking. Then Abdullah's sitting there like he's fucking sleeping, dreaming about his fucking rib house. And fucking, and fucking, then Cactus Jack wakes him up and then he gets mad and fucking goes after the fucking orderlies. Here comes two, here comes about six, seven jobbers dressed as Halloween guys. And they get beat up, and then Abdullah Butcher runs his fat ass with cactus. And that's about <laughs> you, it. you see him step yeah, on one guy and he falls. Fell. He, fall, he falls <laughs> on the goddamn fucking ramp like a fat fuck that he is. Yeah. And so the winner of the match was Elegante, Sting, and the Steiner Brothers. Um, and then we got to go into the worst WCW Halloween Havoc match of all time. WCW Halloween Havoc 1998 when Hollywood Hogan takes on The Warrior. Yeah, this match was the fucking shits. And Halloween Havoc 98, you know, uh, I remember uh, you couldn't finish that uh, Goldberg and DDP match. Mm -hmm. uh, they ixnayed that out of the goddamn lineup. So you, they had to reimburse everybody for that pay-per-view. And uh, Hogan and Warrior... Halloween Havoc 98 is the worst fucking match I've ever seen in my goddamn life. WrestleMania 6 was a fucking chore <laughs> to what fucking Halloween Havoc 98 was. But WrestleMania 6, fucking great. When you watch Halloween Havoc 98, you can see it's not so great. I, I don't know what WCW did. They fucked it know, all up. I don't know what. Of course, WCW fucks everything up. You but, know, uh, fucking the warrior comes out. Here he comes. And then and then all we see is fucking. Then it is a fucking clusterfuck. Fucking Hogan was gonna fucking set the warrior on fire. He was gonna. He was gonna. He was a, gonna burn that man. He's gonna do a flaming fireball. He sets it up. Fucking miss warrior by a mile. It blows up in his face. It blows up in his face. There goes Hogan's fucking mustache and <laughs> part of his eyebrows gone. And then fucking. Then the funny part was the crisscross clothesline. Didn't know which way Hogan uh, warrior was going. Well, well, he does the leg drop on him, yeah, and then Warrior drop. does the does the comeback. Yeah, he the does century. the comeback, you know, the typical Warrior you see every fucking match, even even against. And then the he goes for the crisscross clothesline. Yeah, lines. then he goes for the crisscross clothesline. Hogan, Hogan don't know which way he's fucking going. <laughs> yeah, Hogan's like, you know, and and then here comes Horace Hogan, the less the less popular of the Hogan family. <laughs> That's true. Besides he, Nick Hogan, he, he's worse than Brooke. Yes, he is. <laughs> 
Uh, at least Brooke made something out of herself. Don't forget about us. <laughs> you know, Nick, what does he make out of his career besides uh, killing somebody in a fucking car accident? There you go. He got away with it. Uh, but Eric Bischoff sits there and holds Nick Patrick. Yeah, Eric Bischoff grabs Nick Patrick. Then here comes Horace. He hits Warrior in the back with the chair. And then Hogan covers him. One, two, three. The match was a fucking clusterfuck. The worst Halloween Havoc match I've ever seen in my fucking life is Hogan and Warrior from Halloween Havoc 98. It was a fucking shit. If you want to watch a Warrior Hogan match, watch WrestleMania 6. Don't watch this motherfucker. That's true. That's true. And don't forget, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. And don't forget, if you guys want to send us a postcard or a letter or a package, anything you guys want to send us, you guys can do that through our P.O. Box. Joseph Flat, F-L-A-T-T, -T, at P.O. Box 6005 in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, 42702. And uh, while, uh, while uh, Carlito and the Pirate here, old Paul Birchall himself, uh, gets ready, don't forget you guys have a happy Halloween from Wrestling Rampage. And don't forget to subscribe to one of the best damn wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, if you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know fucking wrestling. <laughs>